اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, I'm going to quickly review the steps as to what we have done up till now. Now let's assume this is the model that I want to estimate using seminar. Now in order to estimate this model, these are the 10 steps that I have to take. Now let's go and review each of these steps with the code in R. So the first thing that you need to do is load the library. Now once you have loaded the library, the next step is to load the data. How to load the data? You have to call this read.csv function and it will take the file name, the header, if the header or the first row are the variable names and then the separator that is comma in this case. And once this file is read, it is stored in this object. The next thing is inspect your data so that you know that you haven't made any errors or there are no mistakes in your data that has been added now let's run this and all looks good now the next step here is you define your measurement model you specify your measurement model in this case we had three ivs vision development and rewards and one dv now all these three are measured reflectively that is the arrows will be flowing from the construct towards the indicators and same is the case for the dependent variable now in order to specify the model we are going to use construct function and within the construct function we open the bracket and then we use this particular function to define our composite variables that is vision development rewards and collaborative culture once you have specified your measurement model obviously this function is called and the measurement model is stored in this object now every time you're calling a function the function is returning something that is stored in an object now this object here can be named anything that is meaningful but make sure there are no spaces in between now the next step is once you have specified your measurement model, you have to specify your structural model that shows what are the relationships that you want to assess later in your model. In this case, our relationships are three relationships. One from vision, one from development, one from rewards going into collaborative culture. Here it is, vision, development, rewards, two collaborative culture. So two is a keyword here and then followed by equal to. Now from then equal to, then C. So more than one variable that is leading to the same outcome variable. So you can use this C function or a vector. Now this is the vector that you can use C and then you've got this parenthesis here, starting and ending here. And within the parenthesis, you've got all the three constructs. Now they are linked to the collaborative culture. The next step, once you have specified your measurement and structural model, you have to estimate the model. So I'm going to estimate on my measurement model, estimate underscore PLS. It's just like running PLS algorithm in smart PLS. So you have to give the PLS function the data. So the data is stored in this data object. The measurement model is stored in this particular object. The structural model is stored here in this object. Look at this, simple underscore SM. Now these are the different options, you can use them or they are default so you might not even need to write them. Now once this is done, let's run all this again. Okay, let's let me show you one more thing. You can clean all this up using this option. Now it's all clean, let's run this again. Now all 341 observations are valid, so no issues in my observations or in the code. The next step, once you have estimated your PLS algorithm, the next step is I want to see the output. So you have to summarize the output. How do you summarize the output from the model that you have estimated? Just give this summary function the object. Which object? Your measurement model. Where is your measurement model that was estimated? Here it is. So you will give this summary function the object that you have estimated. Again, this will be stored in an object. So the function will return something and that will be stored in this particular object. So I can call this object to display everything that I that is there 
in this particular object so you run it okay move it up have a look here so this is there in this particular object now how do you interpret this this is coming in the next series of lectures where we will be evaluating our measurement model let's say so let's remove it for now summary underscore simple and then add the dollar sign and what do you want you want paths total effects total indirect effects loadings weight validity whatever you want let's say i want validity now look at this within validity i can have vif of items i can have htmt factor loading or oh sorry final and locker criteria and cross loadings as well similarly you can have reliability using the dollar sign now once you have summarized it let's bootstrap the model to see the significance of relationship that i wanted to assess till now i've got the reliability and validity i've estimated by the pls model now i want to estimate the bootstrap model so you simply run it it might take some time now sem in our model successfully bootstrapped so it runs fine now where are the results again call the summary function give it the model that was bootstrapped and it is going to store all the summary in this particular object so you can directly call this object here and it will give you all the details but then that's quite a bit so let's use it step by step let's say i want just the paths so again run it and you will have just the paths here otherwise you do not know how to get these output again you can write summary underscore boot and then add the dollar sign and it will give you the different options that you can select from moving on so you can write the output to the csv file just call in write.csv function where x will store or will have the output that you want on to write and file will have where you want to write it and finally you can have the plots as well let's say i'm interested in reliability plots you simply select it and let's run it there is an error figure margins too large so what's the issue let's run it again now again it ran fine so might be when you run it just open this window a bit and here it is now you want your simple model you want the plots for your simple model so just run your simple model that you estimated so here is your simple model again you want to run your bootstrap model or have the plots for bootstrap model just select it and you will have the bootstrap model with the confidence intervals so this is what we have done up until now and this is how you can have your models estimated the next thing is we are going to look into how to evaluate your reflective measurement model